Hello. In this episode, I want to have an overview of how we expand the operations offering formally through the Prism Pro into a more exciting coverage. The goal of the operations offering Nutanix is to help you to make your IT operations much efficient so that you can harness the full power of the HCI platform. Two problems we try to focus on is to help a customer like you to understand the machine data that you collect through uh, the infrastructures or even through the applications. But I also want to make sure that we can empower you to uh, automate your daily operation tasks without being deterred by the over-complex tooling sets. In the last four years, we have been uh, developing a very unique approach to uh, solve these two problems uh, among the industry. We uh, started to use the machine learning capabilities to generate actionable signals about capacity anomalies, and then we uh, provide a, a low-code and no-code uh, automation platform we call a cross-play to allow you to automate your operation uh, tasks with ease and with confidence. On top of that, we provide a, a seamless operations experience, experience through PRISM, so you can connect the data, the results of the analytics, and the action to um, remediate or optimize the environment all together so that you can make the whole operations much efficient. In the latest release, 2020.A, the operations tiers, formerly known as PRISM Pro, uh, is going to expand its observability coverage uh, to multi-dimensional data. In the past, or up to now, uh, you can have all these benefits of the uh, machine learning and the uh, automations uh, applicable to your Nutanix environment. But what I've been heard many of you told me that you have other infrastructures uh, that host VMware's uh, virtual infrastructures. And you want to have one tool to look after all of them. So now we're going to expand our observabilities to the VMs running on non-Nutanix environment as well. So you can truly have one single operations experience to look after the uh, virtual infrastructures with a Nutanix and without Nutanix. We're going to continue to enhance the machine learning capabilities and also we'll continue to enhance the cross-play. In this release, we're going to introduce the import and export capabilities. So you can save uh, the playbooks and for the backup or for um, moving into different PC instance. We're also going to introduce a conditional execution capability. So now you can have a multiple different execution paths based on uh, status, whether it's a current machine status or whether the approval status you pass by from the external system. So it becomes even more powerful. While we're working on the um, operations capabilities around the infrastructures, many of you told us that you want to also see the full stack visibilities. So we start that with uh, the SQL Server monitoring, which is agentless solutions that allow you to start to see the KPI as well as uh, the query information inside the prism. So you don't have those silo uh, in how do you access the data. One more important thing is we have a, another product called Beam for on-prem and focus on the cost governance for the on-prem environment. And now we include that as part of a prism so you can have one single solution and look into not only the capacity but also performance as well as cost. And you will see more and more those data integration in the future. How do we, for example, how do we uh, forecast the cost or how do we report the cost along with the performance and capacity data? But observabilities cannot work until you know what you're going to observe for. For that, we're going to provide an agentless application uh, discovery capabilities as part of the operations offering in Prism. So with all these new features, now you can access all these features into three tiers. 
The starter is the prism that you have been accessed so far, um, and it's always free along with the AOS purchase if you focus on Nutanix HCI management. Formerly known as a Prism Pro, now be expanded into a pro tier of the prisms with all these new features such as vCenter center monitoring uh, and enhancement of machine learning. We're continuing going to expand that tiers to focus on the infrastructure operations. But if you're looking into the full stack of visibilities, you want to look into uh, break the data silo between the application and uh, uh, infrastructure, you want to have more more dimensional data, including cost data and the future autonomous IT ops capabilities. Ultimate tier is the tier you're going to look for. So those setup allow us to continuously um, work with the journey that we try to help our customers IT ops much efficiencies coming from the operations, the adding the automations, now we expand the observabilities now and in the next 12 months. And we're also starting to develop the autonomous IT ops capability and you're gonna know more information about that pretty soon. In the next few weeks, we'll continue to broadcast the episode that focus on one tier at a time and we'll have a more detail of these new and enhanced capabilities of each tier along with the demo videos. And the follow on those episodes, we'll have a more demo video come out and specifically working on one feature go much much details so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel to looking at the previous videos and keep the update of the future videos thank you